I'm Debbie Reed, and I'm here today to introduce you to Philadelphia's new cooking cream. Comes in four delicious flavors. Today we're going to be using the savory garlic. Uh, what I'm going to end up um, doing for you today is making something along the lines of a, a kind of a dressed up chicken salad, holding it together, of course, with the savory garlic. Um, I'm going to put it in um, some prepared dough, which I'll tell you about later, roll it up and bake it in the oven, and cut it up into some nice pieces. So in order to get our chicken salad going, we have shredded chicken. Now all this was, was um, you can use rotisserie chicken, any leftover chicken. I just cooked up some chicken breast, let it cool, shred it, and you're all set and ready to go. To that, I'm gonna add some already cooked bacon that um, has been cut into little pieces like that. I cooked it that way. I went ahead and, and cut it up and sliced it and cooked it. it. Went a little bit quicker. I have some blue cheese. And we have some pecans, add a little crunch to it. A little bit of some chives, that's uh, three tablespoons. You can go two tablespoons, I really like chives, so I, I put a little bit extra in there on that. And then just some chopped up olives. Now, mix it up a little bit to get it all kind of incorporated. Only the little thing I will add before I put in the savory garlic, give it a little bit of pepper. The blue cheese has, um, and as well as the olives, has a little bit of some um, salt in it, so I don't want to oversalt it. So we'll just add a little pepper in that today. Now, to the main part of our delicious filling, I'm going to add the savory garlic. Only thing is, I'm not going to add the whole container. I'm going to start with about a third to a half. I just want enough to go ahead and hold the chicken salad together. The rest of it, when we go ahead and sit down and have a slice of this, I'm going to have heated and use it um, as a dipping sauce or put a little bit over the slice. So you actually get double on that. You get it in it and on it. So let's start with about half here and see what we get. All right, that's probably gonna be, like I said, just wanna hold it together. Get a little bit more over there. Actually get another spoon, I don't wanna get anything else in there. But this is ending up being about half of it. There we go. All right, finish mixing this all together. While I'm finishing mixing this up, let me go ahead and tell you about the dough that I have here. All I took was a refrigerated, already prepared in the tube dough. Um, it's not the pizza dough, it's actually um, what they call um, a French bread dough. Um, what I ended up doing is placing it on the cookie sheet. I did put down some foil before I sprayed it just for a little bit easier cleanup. But there is, when you read the package, there is a seam when you cook it, you put it seam side down. What I did is I put it seam side up over here and I just unrolled it. So it came apart really, really easy. So that's not really a um, something difficult to do. So what I want to do is I want to now just spoon down the center all of our chicken salad. And it's going to be really full, but it'll it'll all get in there, believe me. Yeah, get a little bit closer here. Okay, get that out of your way. Just a few stray pieces. You just kind of want to even it out best you can. You want it all nice and even in there. You don't want somebody getting a piece with hardly any chicken in it and then somebody with it overflowing. And you want to leave about an inch or so at the top and the bottom. And probably, I would say, it's probably about one and a half to two inches along the side. You want to have enough to roll it. Okay, so what I do is I take the bottom in first. And then I take, now when I unrolled it, the very end was a little bit thicker, and I want to actually use that as the last piece that I put over it. So this is like the thinner piece where I first originally started unrolling. I want to roll that over. And at this point, you can pinch a little bit together. It normally will pretty well bake together, but you, do, you want to make sure you're not going to lose any filling there. And then you want to take the last side and roll it over. And like I said, this one's a little bit thicker, so that'll give you a really good seal. And 
then again I'm going to pinch that together a little bit so it stays nice and closed up. Okay, now that will be our bottom. Now the trick trick here is actually rolling it, but it is great so it should come up pretty easily for you. And then you just want to flip it over just like that. Now, let me make it look nice and pretty, nice and even. There we go. And then the only other thing I did want to do, let me get a fork here. I'm going to brush it with a little bit of some egg wash so it gets nice and brown and golden. It looks really pretty when it comes out. And I'm not going to cut it like you would a normal, you know, when you bake a loaf of the, like the French bread. I'm going to put a couple fork holes in it, uh, like you would maybe more of a pie crust, just to let the steam out. But I don't really want it to split while it's cooking, so let's go ahead and do that. Just a few of them throughout. There you go. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, now that's going to go into a preheated oven, 350 degrees. 25, 30 minutes, um, you know, start watching it. You want to make sure, of course, that you don't overbrown it. Um, then when it comes out, uh, we'll slice it up, and I will have the rest of the savory garlic all warmed, and we will have a piece and try it. So I'll see you in about half an hour. It's been 30 minutes, and as you can see, um, our bread on the outside got nice and lightly golden brown. Um, you could probably keep it in there a few minutes if you wanted a little bit browner, but it's cooked all the way through, so you're good to go at this point. So what I want to do is... Let me go ahead and cut it for you. Actually, I might need to hold, actually hold on to it. And I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. There we go. Take this piece out. Oops. It would help if I cut all the way through. There we go. There we go. You can see it's all full of that wonderful chicken and bacon and the olives and the chives and of course the main ingredient of our cooking cream. Let me put this on the side here. Okay. And what I've done then is I took the rest of our cooking cream and I just put it in a little bowl, put it in the microwave, warmed it up for just like 30 seconds and it's ready to go. So let's put a little, a little bit on the side here. And we'll take a little taste and see how we are. Mm. Delicious. It's nice and warm through. Just enough of the cooking cream inside to keep it nice and moist. And then, of course, the addition on the outside is fantastic. Look for the cooking cream when it comes out. It'll be in the refrigerated section of your grocery stores. I guess it's going to come in four flavors. Today we use the savory garlic. It's delicious. It's thick. It's creamy. And you can use it in so many different ways and in so many recipes to get dinner on the table in no time at all. So make sure you look for it, buy it, they're going to fly off the shelves. Enjoy.